In some of my videos, people have been asking me what to do if the air conditioner is sucking air in instead of expelling it. So basically it's blowing air downwards instead of blowing the air upwards. And most of the time this happens after the motor was just replaced. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to reverse the rotation of the fan blade on an air conditioner or heat pump motor. The easiest thing to check for if your motor is spinning backwards is if your motor has a plug or reversing wires on the motor itself. So sometimes it'll be a, literally a little plug right by the motor, or it might be a purple and a yellow wire. Those are the common colors. Sometimes it could be brown wires, but usually it's yellow and purple. If you swap those two wires around, the purple and the yellow, that will reverse the direction of the fan motor. Now, if your motor does not have that reversing plug or those reversing wires, you can also reverse the direction of the fan motor by switching the polarity on the motor. To do that, you would need to switch the wires coming from the condenser fan motor and going to the capacitor. First things first, make sure you set your thermostat to the off position and then turn off the power going to the condenser unit, either at the disconnect box or at the circuit breaker panel. I have the thermostat shut off inside and I have the unit, the condenser unit, shut off at the disconnect right outside here. So to reverse the polarity of the condenser fan motor, you have to swap the two wires coming from the condenser fan motor and going to the capacitor. Those two wires are coming from the start winding and the run winding on that motor. The surest way to do this is to simply trace the wires coming from the condenser fan motor and going into the unit here, into this electrical section, trace the wires to see which wires are coming from the condenser fan motor. In my case, it's pretty simple because I see right here that we have like, like a little jumper wire that goes from one side of the contactor and goes to the capacitor. So it's not gonna be this wire. This wire is not coming from the condenser fan motor. It's not gonna be the yellow wire. Usually the yellow wire is gonna be the Herm on many air conditioners. And I know that on this unit, this yellow wire goes to the compressor. And not only that, the terminal that this yellow wire goes to is also labeled as Herm, which stands for hermetically sealed compressor. So we know that the yellow wire is for the compressor and that only leaves us with two wires, the purple and the brown. So before we go ahead and take the two wires off from the fan motor, I like to go ahead and make sure that the capacitor is discharged and there's no charge left in there so I don't get zapped a little bit once I start touching the wires. To do so, you just need some tool with an insulated handle, either a screwdriver, a needle nose, or a pair of pliers. In my case, I'm just using a needle nose with rubber handles and I simply discharge the capacitor by touching all the terminals to each other. So right now I'm going from common to fan on the capacitor, and then I'm also going from the common section to herm on the capacitor. And if you did not turn the power off to your unit, right about now you're probably gonna see some sparks. Lastly, all we gotta do is swap the two wires coming from the condenser fan motor. So the purple is coming from there, and the brown is coming from the fan motor. So I took the brown one out from there. I would be putting it right into this one instead. It does not matter which spade you're connecting it to. All of these spades in each of these sections, the round sections, they're all connected to each other. So I could put this brown wire here, here, or here. It makes no difference. And then the other wire that I took off from the common section, I would put that on the fan. And it's as simple as that, to reverse the direction of the fan motor. Now, if this is not working for you, typically what I do is I swap the wires like that, then I turn my unit back on at the thermostat, then at the disconnect, and I pay attention which direction the fan blade is going. If it's still not going the right direction, I immediately turn the power off, and I put these wires back to how I found them. Because most likely the polarity of the motor is not the problem. In my case, the motor is actually spinning in the right direction, so I don't want to be swapping anything. I'm going to go ahead and switch these back to how I found them. And when I say to pay attention to the fan blades when the motor just starts or as it's stopping, what I'm talking about is the fan blades, they should be scooping the air and throwing it up. So in our case right here, the fan blades are slanted downwards. So in order for them to scoop air, they would need to go counterclockwise. So that's how you visually tell if the fan motor is spinning in the right direction. It should be scooping the air and throwing it out. And really the easiest way is to simply put your hand above it, run the unit, and if your hand above it is feeling a lot of airflow, if the air is pushing up, then you know you're good. 
if it's sucking air in and pushing it down, you're probably not gonna be feeling much up on here. That's bad, it's spinning in the wrong direction. And I have seen creative people think that just by reversing the fan blade itself, they could solve the problem. So they literally just take the fan blade off, they flip it over and they put it back on. That will not solve the problem. In fact, it's probably even gonna make it a little bit worse. So don't try that. Flipping the fan blade does not work. And if you're watching this video and you have not recently replaced your fan motor, it just randomly started doing this, then chances are the polarity is not your problem. Swapping those two wires is probably not gonna help. What might be going on in your case is a weak or shorted out capacitor, or the motor itself is going bad. I do have videos on both of those topics, how to check and replace a capacitor, and also how to check and replace a condenser fan motor. So if you think that is your problem, go ahead and check those videos out. But anyway guys, that is all I had for you today in this video. If you have any other tips or suggestions or something I missed in this video, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out and I'll see you next time. And if you're still here and not in the comments section below, let me share some life wisdom with you. There's two tips I have for you. Number one, if somebody has employees working for them and they pretend to pay them, those employees are gonna pretend to work. And if you have a dog named Shark, it is a very bad idea to bring that dog to the beach.